Hello, today we are going to be discussing about a very common problem that we all face which is about the swelling in the eyelid. The swelling in the eyelid could indicate that there is a block in the oil gland. As we all know like we all have oil glands in our eyelids which secretes some oil secretion which prevents our tears from evaporating. So this oil gland when it is not functioning well it can result or when it is obstructed it can result in uh, this kind of swelling which is called a chalazion. So when it is uh, in the beginning stage it can be very painful even if we blink our eyes it can cause some kind of irritation and pain and patients at this point of time they usually present with some redness and irritation in the eye and at this time at this kind of presentation what we do is we treat them with uh, oral and topical antibiotics along with hot fermentation which usually relieves the symptoms. But some patients when they uh, become like uh, responsive to treatment but it is not completely resolved they can present with a lump in the eyelid. So that lump might require treatment in the form of a small procedure called incision and curatage. So why do we develop this kind of swelling? The problem is that whenever we do not have a proper blink response as in like when we have an uncorrected refractive error or a refractive error which is undercorrected or when we are not using glasses regularly so it can cause some eye strain and can result in this kind of problem. The second thing is when the patient has got an undiagnosed diabetes or undertreated diabetes again this can be an indication of that uh, undercorrected diabetes. Third could be a proper uh, without proper risk patient can develop this kind of symptoms. Usually we get to see patients when they have their exams when they study for longer hours or some professionals where they travel frequently so they can also develop this kind of problem. So what needs to be done is that whenever you develop this kind of problem it is important that you consult an ophthalmologist get it diagnosed and get it treated properly and we all need to do refraction blood sugars and we need to discuss about the possible treatment option at uh, depending upon the state of presentation. And uh, sometimes we need to remember uh, conditions like an eye tumor also which can exactly mimic like this but it can present for a longer time. So that also has to be kept in mind and if the swelling recurs and if it is painless those are the red flag signs and we need to be alert about these conditions. So if at all you have an eye swelling which is there for a longer time get yourself tested and treated. Thank you.